today i come up with new video for you guys if you like this video don't forget to press like share subscribe and bell icon given below today we learn how to preset this thread mill before presetting this thread mill tool we will uh, calibrate the adapter as we are presently we have uh, cap to c6 but we we have uh, we have we are using the adapter second this is showing the position of the adapter and we are using the adapter sk40 for the uh, present thread mill tool so we select the this this adapter is sk40 or we can say bt40 so we are selecting the adapter sk40 as we click here and uh, you can see this sk40 uh, showing the orange light here and it means it is not calibrated so we click there and we will calibrate first so that it will measures the tool height and dia according to the adapter we use so it's showing the message manual absolute now we manually with the hand we will uh, we will calibrate this steel balls it's uh, steel balls at the bottom of the adapter and this red plus sign showing that we have to come in close to this so that when the when we uh, this these steel balls you can see these steel balls we have to calibrate according to the infrared radiations by moving the uh, in close to this as the arrow is showing that we have to move up this red plus sign at the center so that it can uh, calibrate as it it is now from red to green it it indicates that it will come at a correct position and now we will press ok to calibrate it automatically so that it can uh, get the value of x and z now you can see we have to put it in this right position and then we will take the uh, now we will take this infrared radiations down at near to this uh, steel balls and we will calibrate it manually this red plus sign we have to keep uh, infrared radiations closer to the this blue plus so that this red sign change into green like this now we will calibrate it automatically by pressing this f1 ok or from the keyboard we can press f1 and you can see its focus automatically now you can see there is a green light on the sk40 before calibrating there was orange light now it means it is calibrated and now we can see this is sk40 or we can say bt40 adapter and this is the uh, zoller adapter you can say this is permanently attached to the zoller and this is the uh, adapter for the s sk40 or bt40 so you can uh, arrange this according to the slots given on the adapters these are the steel balls we we have uh, calibrated before and now we place this adapter to the sk40 adapter and you can see how we have fit this tool adapter to the zoller adapter sk40 now you can see this is a this is our thread mill tool 
for the CNC to make the threads on a workpiece in milling machine we use this tool in a milling machine as this tool rotates and the workpiece is stationary at this at its position so this is our thread mill and the threads on the insert you can see now we will measure the height and the radius by manually we are focusing the infrared radiation near to the tool insert now you seeing on the screen i am focusing the infrared radiation manually near to the tool as tool comes in front of the infrared radiations and it is showing on the screen as there are some dots you can see on this pointed we have to clean it so that we can get appropriate size diameter and height of this tool so we have to clean it and we have to manual folk manually rotate it in front of the infrared radiation so that it will now we clean it with the help of the stick glue you can see i am cleaning it with this stick glue so that the now you can see how clear bef from before we are seeing now we can measure now we write the description and give the uh, giving the name here of the tool as this is a thread mill and we will enter here thread mill with the help of the touch screen keyboard or you can uh write it with the manual keyboard as i have entered the description as a thread mill you can see here and then we will come to the cutter shape and cutter shape is here is general uh, that is 21 and measuring mode is nc mode and cutter on counter is one as there is one cutting edge on the periphery and focus is auto external we have to kept here auto external and measuring range we have to put 3.6 for all the tools we have put 3.6 as you can see left side of the screen there is a red light blinking blinking and this is z in diameter we have to change it into radius by clicking on it as i clicked you can see there is a radius sign in x and z for all the tools except boring bar we have to kept x in radius now we will manually uh, manually arrange this so that we can get the height and the radius of the this tool you can see this is in front of the these radiations by interrupting these radiations the tool is on the screen as you see so now we uh, play back these values of Z and X so it will take the current position and then we uh, press F5 to measure you can see it is focusing automatically and you will get the value on the left side you can see at the uh, these are the degree you are showing 
there is showing the degree of these with this you can see the angle degree it is showing as it is inclined to the horizontal line and you can see here the radius of the tool as 4.649 and the height uh, and you can see this is the radius and you can see height is 110.014 and all height and this is in radius and height is from here to here you can see this is the height and in this way we measure all the tools as we done here.